Hi guys, Michelle Geomatics here today with a short video on how to use data-driven pages to generate a series of maps along a line feature. In my map here, you can see my line feature is this blue river, which represents Oak Creek that runs through Sedona. I've added some other data as well as a topographic base map. What I'd like to do is make a series of maps every two miles along Oak Creek. And here's how to do that. First off, I'm going to use data-driven pages, and since I don't have a polygon layer that represents the two-mile extents that I'd like to use, I'm going to use a geoprocessing tool to generate one for me. So it's in Arc Toolbox. If you go to the Cartography Tools, Data-Driven Pages, we're going to use the Strip Map Index Features tool. It doesn't matter which license level you're running, these tools are available at all. So I'll double click to open the tool and I just have to specify my input feature class which is Oak Creek and then my output feature which I'll store it in a database and I'll just call it strip index and I'll set my distance so those are the only required parameters you could let the software make default settings but I want to set the distance along the creek that I want each map to represent and as I indicated, I want that to be two miles. And I'm going to set the perpendicular distance outside the boundaries of the river to be 1.25 miles. Okay, so I'll go ahead and run this tool. And ArcMap adds it to my map so you can see the extent that each map will have. So I'm going to have a series of maps and each one will be the extent of one of these index features. So I'll turn this off and then jump over into Layout View where I've already made a rough layout. I just added a title, a scale bar, and a north arrow. And you can see my data here. So when you have your layout toolbar open, you can access data-driven pages from the data-driven pages toolbar from the very end of the layout toolbar. And you'll just go to the first button to set up data-driven pages. You have to enable it. By default, it is not enabled. Specify the data frame and the layer that you want to define the extent of each map, and that's going to be our strip index. I actually generated two of these, so I'm going to use the first one. It's exactly the same. And you can look through these other settings. I'm going to accept my defaults. On the extent page, you might want to set the margin. And this extent has to do with how far outside of the data-driven page extent of each page the software will go. So I'm going to set it down to 100%. And I'll go ahead and accept these settings. And the software generated data-driven pages for me. So it starts here on the southern end of Oak Creek where I didn't have too many campgrounds or hiking trails. I'm going to go to the last page which will be the northernmost extent of Oak Creek and scroll down from there and you can see that each page represents Oak Creek just a different portion of it so you can see a campground feature here notice the scale bar and the north arrow are set accordingly and as I scroll through you can see different parts of Oak Creek so this is a very useful tool for generating a series of maps that you want to have the same look and feel but along a line feature, like a river or a road or anything else. Your features do not have to be lines. You could use data-driven pages to specify, for example, different counties in a state. You would just use the county's polygon layer as your data-driven pages layer. There's no need to create the strip map index. So this is how you use data-driven pages. It was introduced at version 10, so if you're still back in version 9, this may be the push you need to use version 10. This is Michelle Geomatic saying goodbye for now.